All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to complete the chicken expert achievement and title by far one of the most rarest achievements to complete in the game. I have some helpful tips. I'm talking about this one right here, you guys. Got some helpful tips. They're gonna help you get 10 chicken dinners in 10 different ways. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. What's going on guys, this is Riggs. Welcome back to the channel. And like you saw in the intro, I, I cannot believe I was able to complete this achievement. I'm so excited to bring it to you guys and to share it with you. Uh, I did it for you guys just as much as I did it for myself. So I got all the tips, all the tricks, learn from my mistakes so you don't make them. And just for, for those of you guys that don't know what this achievement and title is, it's getting the final kill using all of the weapons that I'd mentioned. So that's going to be minimum 10 wins that you'll have to use because it's 10 different ways you have to deliver the final kill in that 1v1. In classic solo, you can do it in FPP or you can do it in TPP like I did. And you have to be in Platinum League or higher in order to complete it. So we're going to kind of tell a story. And this is the first match that I did that made me realize, wait a minute, I might be on to something. Maybe I can actually, maybe I have a shot at actually achieving this. And that is the throwable. When I got the throwable kill, as you guys are going to, as you guys are going to see very soon, that's when I realized, uh, again, so all these will be in order as I was completing them. So my first tip for the throwable is make sure you practice, make sure you know how to pre-cook, pick up nades and mollies throughout your game while you're looting. And as far as the map for the throwable, it's gonna have to be Erangel as my map of choice. Uh, Cause some of these, you can do them on both. Some maps are better than others. So for throwables, I would definitely have to say Erangel because of situations like this, we know the bad guy is proned out right behind that tree. So it's gonna be very easy to gauge how far we have to throw the nade and bam, just like that. So when I got this kill right here, I went back and I checked. I already had, so for the matches you guys are gonna see, you're not gonna see the AR or the SMG. Why? Because those, I mean, those are the weapons you're gonna be using to win uh, a solo match regardless. So the AR and the SMG, I'm gonna be showing you guys more specifically the more quote unquote difficult ones, uh, you know, such as the vehicle, the crossbow, uh, the melee, the throwable like you guys saw. Uh, so this one right here, this is going to actually be the light machine gun. For those of you guys that don't know what weapons, there's three of them that are classified as light machine guns. Uh, that's gonna be the Tommy gun. Uh, the M249 and the DP28. So I killed this guy again. Not sure if it was a bot or not. Sometimes it's hard to tell, uh, you know, since they updated the bots or whatever. But regardless, he had a DP28. So my best recommendation when you guys are doing this, and you're going to see it as we're uh, going through each of these matches uh, throughout this video, uh, whatever you loot and find first, whatever you have pending, in this situation, we found the DP28 relatively quickly. Again, I'm not gonna spend too, too much time on it because the light machine guns are actually freaking OP. I wouldn't recommend doing it with the Tommy gun, but for sure, the DP28 and the M249 are going to be ideal. But I didn't wanna uh, take up too much time. I don't want this video to get too long. And the light machine guns are just as OP as a submachine gun or an AR. And this is just a quick update. You guys can see we have the throwable gun, the light machine gun, the assault rifle, and we have the SMG all completed. So four down, we have six to go. Uh, so this one right here is actually going to be the match where I get the pistol kill. And yes, believe it or not, it was in fact done on Miramar. However, uh, as far as the map that I would say is best uh, for getting the pistol kill, I guess it could be either one. I mean, ideally I would think Erangel, especially if you're like prone down in the grass, just kind of, you know, firing at will and you get the kill. But believe it or not, she got it done at Miramar and it's a great opportunity, a great learning opportunity because a lot of these kills in these chicken dinners are all going to be situational. Ideally, when I was going through this match is I looted nice and early and I found a crossbow. So originally I was trying to get a crossbow kill in this match um, but 
an opportunity uh, presented itself to me and we end up getting the pistol kill. I'll show you guys exactly how that went down. So for the pistols, without a doubt, it's always gonna be situational. Uh, and sometimes you'll have to act quickly uh, given the situation, do I pull a pistol out? You know, should I use the light machine gun or a throwable? You know, again, depending on the situation, always, always loot a pistol. When you guys are doing this achievement, always have a pistol on you because you never know when an opportunity like that is going to present itself to you. So we ended up getting the kill. He had no idea we, where we were. Plus we were silenced. That was with the, the P92. Ideally, you're gonna wanna do this with the P92C because it is the only automatic pistol in the game, but hey, we got it done. That was with the pistol. Again, a good learning opportunity. You just never know based on the situation. He came up. I knew I couldn't get uh, I couldn't get him with the crossbow. So I reacted quickly, got the pistol kill. And okay, next up is the sniper rifle. And again, this kind of goes in the class of the ARs and the SMGs. Uh, they're gonna be freaking OP and often you're gonna be getting the last kill. You might already, watching this video, if you're a solo player uh, in Platinum or Higher, you might already have this checked off. So again, not gonna spend too much time on it. The way I got it was pretty cool because I'm using the Mark 14. Uh, and for the map, of course, I'm gonna have to say Miramar, mainly because not only is Miramar a sniper's dream, and more often than not, the circle is going to be in a situation where it's gonna be, you're gonna be on a ridge, the, in a 1v1 situation where you're on a ridge, the bad guy's on a ridge, and it's gonna be a sniper showdown. More often than not, you don't have many sniper showdowns in a 1v1 situation on Erangel because people are, will often be proned out, or they'll be in a building, they're not peeking, uh, that kind of thing. So you can see the bad guy just to the left of us. He has no idea where we are. Uh, we went ahead, as you guys are gonna see, we went ahead and threw, uh, or we're gonna be throwing this smoke grenade only to distract him. And we got that Mark 14 on auto, but of course, any bolt action, I mean the mini, the Mark 14, again, didn't wanna spend too much time on this just because the sniper rifles, that was insane. Uh, the Mark 14, without a doubt, uh, probably my most favorite gun in the game, probably next to the AKM, uh, especially on fully auto. It's just, it's a beast. So yeah, the Mini, uh, if it's gonna be close quarters, the Mini, uh, the Mark 14, the SKS, for, you know, if it's gonna be like Ridge versus Ridge, any bolt action, you know, one shot, one kill kind of situation. But yeah, so that was the sniper rifle. Next up is, this is a big one. This is, this is the mod, this is when you get into the juicy stuff. Uh, we're talking the crossbow. Many of you probably have never even fired the crossbow in this game before. And like I said, you guys, uh, there is no particular order that you're going to be completing this. Uh, in case a couple of you guys asked down the comment section, no, there's no particular order. You can complete these any which way. This is just the exact sequence. I'm trying to tell a story as uh, I complete them. This is the order that it happened. So when I was looting in water treatment, I found the crossbow. Believe it or not, I don't even have the crossbow quiver. So eh, the crossbow quiver might help, but not really. See, ideally, you're going to want to find a crossbow. When you're getting, uh, when you're going after the crossbow kill, it's when you find it, you guys. So if I had found, um, say you're doing the shotgun or the crossbow, it's always going to be situational. If you pick up a crossbow early in a match with a scope, try to get the crossbow kill that game. Uh, and also, as we transition, make sure you practice with it. The crossbow is unlike anything else. It has the slowest firing speed in the game. The drop to the crossbow bolts is insane. So it's something you're gonna wanna practice. Uh, this one was pretty much delivered to me on a silver platter. And again, like I said, in a situation, say I had the pistol, and the crossbow left in my checklist. Clearly, I'm not gonna be shooting this guy with a pistol, so the opportunity presented itself to me. We saw the guy on the ridge, and we took him down with the crossbow, you guys. Like I said, often you'll have to react quickly, but he just creeped over that edge, and we got the kill. And might I add, the crossbow can one-shot, one kill a level three helmet. It's freaking OP, but you're gonna have to practice with it, you guys. All right, so hands down, the most difficult, believe it or not, I would say the most difficult one I, uh, out of all of these 10, believe it or not, for me at least, was the shotgun. I had the biggest pain trying to get this, uh, this one out of the way. The other ones went kind of quickly. It wasn't that bad. 
but for whatever reason, the shotgun uh, kill was very difficult. So this one, I definitely want to explain and tell you guys why I choose uh, this particular shotgun more uh, over the others. Originally, I was trying to get the kill in the 1v1 situations. I thought the S12 kill was going to be the best. It holds eight rounds when you have an extended magazine. Plus, you have the all different various muzzle attachments. And plus, you can throw an optic on there. So I really thought that was the route to go. However, I was sadly mistaken. I'm sorry, but the damage to the S12, uh, S12K, unless you're up close and personal, like butterfly kissing the bad guy, uh, <laughs> you're going to be taking more than one shot. And that is the issue right there because when it's a 1v1 situation that guy has an AR and he is going to take you down of course the pump action it's just way 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 too much time in between uh each shot we have to rack when you shoot and they have to rack the next round into the chamber it just takes way too long and you'll be dead uh by the time uh you're racking the next uh shell into the chamber so I'm after that one shot one kill you guys and more often than not uh, these 1v1 situations, especially on Erangel, do in fact get up close and personal. So what we're doing right now is we're going to be rotating uh, around this zone. And of course, because it's 1v1, you need, you need to do everything you can uh, to survive. Throwing smokes, knowing how to rotate, not dying early. Um, you know, all these things factor in to how you're going to get to the very end of the game and get into that 1v1 situation. Not only get that far but then take them down with each one of these weapons. So, again, these are all in order, you guys, as I was completing them. So once I completed the, uh, the once I completed the crossbow kill, I had the shotgun, the vehicle, and the melee uh, that were all pending. So again, looting nice and early. Um, I found the S686, and this, the, this double barrel shotgun is freaking insane. Uh, in those close quarter combat situations. So as you guys see in the upper left hand side of the screen, we have three people alive and I know, uh, okay, right there. So now we know that the bad guy has a scar and it's a 1v1, I'm in this house, he's outside um, and we're gonna start hearing his footsteps and just check this out. Goes right into the doorway. I'm not sure what level vest he had on, but I know he had a level three helmet on that's the reason why I would prefer the S6A6 and the map you're going to want to do it on for sure is going to be Erangel again Miramar it's just way too long range and you're more often than not you don't get up close and personal in Miramar like you do on Erangel so that's the map you're going to want to do this on um could not believe it when I got this kill you guys um I was so freaking excited so as you guys see you might have an idea what this one is gonna be. This is going to be the vehicle kills. And another thing, as you're progressing through, you're going to be ranking up as well. So you will find the difficulty in your matches uh, continue to increase. I think right about now, I'm probably, uh, as this match is playing, I'm probably diamond one. I might be crown five at this point. So you really start getting up there uh, pretty high. But now I know that I have the vehicle kill left and I have the melee. So the biggest tip, the vehicle is probably the most situational out of any of the others, and here's why. The only way you're gonna be able to get the vehicle kill, it's, all, it's going to be dependent on where the zone ends. What I mean by that is, if a zone is ending in Pachinki, uh, if you're on Erangel, or if the zone is ending at Picado in Miramar, or it's ending in, you know, right smack dab in the center of Sam Martin or Hacienda, it's, it's going to be impossible. You won't be able to get the vehicle kill. It's going to be very situational where you have to have an open field. Uh, and so that way there's no, there's no place for the bad guy to hide, so to speak. Uh, so anywhere where there's a shack or a building and that's going to be the final zone, good luck getting the vehicle kill. So this is probably hands down the most uh, situational. It's gonna be dependent uh, on where the zone's gonna be, just flat out. Um, so as you guys see, we have this shack right here and we're actually just outside of the zone. And if you look to my left, that's actually not the vehicle that I originally uh, came to the area with. This is actually someone else's right here. So right here, if you guys look, we, we do have some trees. We have that little shack, but that's gonna be out of the zone. And we have one little shack 
that is over to my left. And as far as maps, uh, I would say either Erangel or Myanmar, definitely not Sanok. There's just way to the bridges and the rocks and the trees and the buildings, definitely not Sanok. But Myanmar or Erangel will definitely uh, be good for this kill. Um, we end up getting it on Erangel. Uh, but yeah, this one, it's going to be kind of lucky as far as uh, how the zones are going to be. But it's about taking that opportunity. And there's a guy right there. Look at my health. Like I said, when I, I lost it when I when I freaking got this kill, you guys. Uh, this one was a huge one. Nine down. Nine down. And we got one to go. That being the melee. Uh... And this one in itself is incredible. Uh, so if you've made it this far into the video, uh, you are in for a real treat. So that leaves us to Melee, the very last one. The one you're probably the most curious about um, when watching this video or getting this far into the video is how the hell are you going to pan fist uh, or crowbar uh, the very last guy. So it's definitely not going to be easy no matter which one of these methods that you choose. But I do have one that is going to be the best and the most likely for you to get it. So of course there's the old fashioned way if you will with a lot of smokes and a lot of stuns and a lot of luck uh, in a 1v1 situation in solo. Uh, the, the person you're going up against didn't get there because they're constantly getting panned in the last circle. So it's going to be difficult, but it is possible, just not the way I would want to do it. Uh, the next way is ho a hope and a prayer, uh, basically, uh, that the last guy goes AFK. The third way uh, that you can do this is getting on world chat. I believe you have to be within 10 meters or so uh, in order for that to work and kindly asking the person, hey, can I fist you? Uh, then you'll be able to get the melee done. And then there's the way that I did it, which is grabbing a friend that is in the same league and tier as you. I'd give it within a couple tiers, uh, probably within three tiers at the most, but in the same league and clicking match at the very same time. However, if you do decide to do this, make sure you're very careful and you do not team up with the person. What I mean by that is don't play solo and run a duo, uh, that will get you banned. Play the game. You know your buddy's in the match. It's still considered just a random match. You know he's in the match. Loot separately. If you're on the south end of the map, may, you know, tell him to, to loot the north end of the map. And you'll kind of converge onto the last circle like we did here. But I did not see him the entire match, you guys, until the very, very end. I think I had him in my 8x. Uh, a little earlier onto the game and just, you know, kindly just, you know, turn the other cheek, had to throw a stun at him. Uh, but that's going to be the most ideal, the most, I uh, basically the most ideal way to do it. Uh, the other ways, it's just a, a big hope and a prayer. And this is still considered challenging because you and your buddy both have to get into the top two and, you know, being able to match into the same game. But again, if you go with this, just be cautious and do not team up. Don't be driving in the same vehicle or anything like that because it could land you in a lot of trouble. And there we go. That is the last one. Brandon, a.k.a. Coolboy, I cannot thank you enough uh, for basically uh, making this achievement possible. I had melee left for a few weeks um, trying to get it. Very, very difficult. And I was finally able to get it done. Thank you. Everybody give a big uh, shout out and show some love in the in the comment section for Brandon. So there's our achievement and title. We'll go ahead and collect the 50 achievement points. We now have the title, which we're going to add. Uh, and there it is right there. As you guys see, that's the, the thumbnail. Uh, but wow, what an incredible achievement to finally accomplish. Uh, 10 chicken dinners, you guys, in 10 different ways. Um... And like I said, I did it for you guys just as much as I did it for myself. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. This has been Riggs from Riggs Gaming.